Ryan, what are the risks associated with structured products? So typically with the, the risks, um, the major one would be that you need to be aware of up front is the credit risk that you're taking from the issuer and what type of paper you are um, referencing. So not all structured product providers will issue off their senior unsecured paper. Some will issue further down the credit spectrum. Um, and the further down the go, further down you go, the more uh, risky that becomes. And that sometimes manifests in, in much better optics around the product. So if you see something that's too good to be true in structured product land, it's likely that they are using credits that um, puts you almost alongside equity holders in terms of uh, risk uh, when it comes to default. The other thing is obviously term, term risk. If you um, have a structured product and the payoff uh, as defined, that will only represent or only be binding on the bank if you hold it to maturity. So your capital protection, if you've bought a fully, fully capital protected product, is not a promise um, any time before the maturity date. So you do need to know that from a term perspective, you need to treat these instruments as buy and hold instruments. Yes, you are able to exit early, but uh, all the uh, capital protection and or upside promises made under the particular product are not valid. Uh, and you could potentially suffer a capital loss, even though you bought a capital protected product, if you redeem early. Um, those are primary, primarily the, 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 the biggest two. Um, and then I think it gets a bit more uh, complicated as you, as you decide on what sort of investor you're trying to solve for here. So a really cautious investor who can't take the risk of receiving no return, i.e. capital back only, they shouldn't be buying products that don't have, let's say, a minimum return feature involved. So by minimum return, I mean, after five years, you will receive at least X and maybe Y if markets have gone up. Um, so if you're a cautious investor who can't stomach a zero return, then make sure you're not buying products that give you the potential of getting zero return after that, that, uh, that tenor. The, the opportunity cost, I suppose, is something else to think about. Um, <clears throat> any structured product that is out there should give you a better than 50% chance of beating the risk-free rate out there. So if you can, uh, through, let's say, a money market fund or some sort of bank deposit, access a particular return profile, um, any structured product, or you could argue any product, really, uh, investment product that uh, you compare alongside that should have a better than 50% chance of outperforming that risk-free rate. Otherwise, why would it, it, it wouldn't make any sense for you to, to have uh, gone and take that additional investment risk when you could have solved perfectly for your, for your, uh, for your needs through something that is technically risk-free. 